Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft OneNote provides several templates that you can apply to your pages that help you stay organized, create visual interest, and even add continuity to your notebook pages. It's important to note that templates can only be applied to new blank pages and not to existing pages with content. To apply a template, click or tap the Insert tab up in the ribbon. And then click the Page Templates button in the Pages group. And you'll see a drop down. Now in version 2010, it's a little bit different, so let's take a look at that. We'll switch to 2010, in which case you would use the New Page drop-down in the Page Tabs bar. And you'll see a menu, and we're looking for the Page Templates command that we see at the bottom. So let's switch back now. And again, we'll use the Page Templates drop-down here, and there's the Page Templates command, so you give that a click. In both cases, you'll launch the Templates pane that we see at the right. The templates that are available will be displayed in the area below grouped by category. You can expand and collapse the categories by clicking the small triangles next to their names. So we have Academic, we have some blank ones, and we have Business ones, and so forth. Then just click on one of the template links to apply it to the new page. You can continue to click the various links which will replace the applied template each time until you find the one that you wish to keep. Now notice the default template in the blank category. Let's look at that. Located right here. This template is the same one that is applied each time you create a new page. Of course, you can select any of the other templates in that category as well. But there's our default right there. The decorative group contains templates that act more like stationary, as most contain a decorative background, but lack many of the placeholders and objects contained in other templates. And you'll see these here. Now once you have applied a template and you're happy with what it looks like, you can then modify the elements on the page as you normally would. So this is just a starting point and you can manipulate that in any way you like after you start creating the page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.